the world tarot i'm gonna do a follow-up on the divine feminine and divine masculine readings i did today because um it occurred to me that um the karmic masculine karmic twin or whatever they are that was showing up in this reading um is a very powerful sorcerer and I think he um, he knows how to hypnotize people. I think he can control people's minds. And he might be able to control his uh, feminine's mind too. If he gets close enough to her. So I feel like there's a feminine here who needs to stay physically far away from her karmic twin flame. Because he might be able to, um, to use mind control tactics. And to get her to come into union with him, even though he's a very dangerous person. <sighs> Holy Spirit, show me. Is this guy, the King of Swords in that reading, is he going to mind control this feminine? Is he going to use some kind of mind control tactics? Is he going to hypnotize her or something? Is that karmic, whatever, divine masculine, not so divine masculine, going to hypnotize her? I got the Five of Pentacles reversed. I don't know what kind of answer that is. Yes, he will. Five of Cups. He might come towards her to apologize to her. And he's going to hypnotize her when he does that. And he's going to give her some kind of gift. Maybe the gift is going to be... Um, the gift might have some kind of magic on it. Six of Swords, Seven of Wands. There could be a distance between this masculine and the feminine. Or he might um, he might make her go with him somewhere. He might hypnotize her and make her go with him. Where? Go with him to be sacrificed somewhere. Is he going to hypnotize her and take her somewhere to where he's going to sacrifice her? Six of Pentacles. He's going to treat her. Yes, exactly. Knight of Swords reversed that's a no though anyway six of pentacles he's gonna turn her into some kind of slave he's planning to turn her into his slave isn't he this guy is gonna hypnotize her to make her be one of his slaves or something am i right is this what he's planning is this what he's planning to turn her into a karmic basically Four of Pentacles to hold on to her energetically, possibly to financially abuse her. Yes, that's what it is. He's going to turn her into his slave. Ten of Cups reversed. There's no happily ever after. It's not going to be like a happy family here. He's probably having other women he's treating like karmics. Uh, like I said, this guy is a people smuggler because that's what I was clarifying in the Divine Feminine reading. This guy is a people smuggler and he's going to come towards this feminine, hypnotize her and take her with him and treat her like a prostitute and uh, seven of pentacles he's gonna take her to his home or something or he's gonna take her with him wherever he goes like a dog kind of like that i think this guy is the, uh, collecting divine feminines this might not be her divine masculine. It might just be a guy who collects divine feminines because of the magic poom poom, I guess, to traffic them. Am I right? Is this what he's planning? To put them to work, Eight of Pentacles. For him, Four of Wands. To perform for him. Yeah. Ten of Swords. So that's the kind of sacrifice. It's like a sexual sacrifice that he's doing. So this guy collects divine feminines, he hypnotizes them, offers them something, and then breaks their heart, okay? That's what he does. So there's a very powerful uh, sorcerer here who goes to different divine feminines, hypnotizes them, gives them some kind of object that's uh, magical or whatever. Kind of like a promise ring or something like that, and that thing is also... Um, is magical to keep them bound to him somehow and then or he makes them kiss his ring i don't know because he's like a pimp that's what i'm getting that this is a guy who's pimping out divine feminines possibly because of their magic poom poom okay 
There you go, whatever. Some people like to say that. I don't know why I keep saying that. I've heard that before. Eight of Cups. I think Shanique says that the magic boom boom or whatever. Eight of Cups, okay? What's with the Eight of Cups? Okay, so somebody needs to stay away from this guy. They can't even get close to him. Ten of Swords. He's so toxic that even if they get talk close to him, they're, they're messed up. So how are these feminines or how is this feminine going to protect herself? I think this is a message for multiple women. Seven of Swords. She needs to get away from him. Maybe she needs to sneak away. She needs to move somewhere when he doesn't see it, when he doesn't know. She needs to do something in the dark. She needs to hide from this guy. Five of Swords reversed. Try not to have a confrontation with this guy of any kind. Try to stay away from him. Because he's so powerful that he can convince you of anything. Six of Wands, yeah. This guy's very powerful. Very, very powerful manifester. It's enough to look at him and he's gonna put you under a spell. Eight of Swords, King of Pentacles. Yeah, and you're, he's gonna be your pimp here, your master, and you're gonna be the slave. That's exactly what I'm getting here. You need to stay away from this person physically. He shouldn't get close to you. Uh, does the feminine know who this person is? Whoever resonates with this, do they know who the person is that they need to stay away from? Yes, they know. Queen of Swords, yes, you know who it is. That's who you need to stay away from. There you go.